today we're going to be making a concrete wall stamp and the first thing we're going to need is the wall stamp set piece. I'm going to be using Low Marble's 10201 set. We're also going to need some wall stamp mix. This is made specifically for this purpose. We're also going to need some water based uh, concrete stains. I'm going to be using Beech Nut Walnut Espresso. Then we're going to need some SCR, which is a concrete degreaser. I'm going to use it to clean off the concrete. Also, we'll need some sealer. I'm going to be using a water-based acrylic sealer. We'll need some snap mold release. We'll need some sprayers, a paint roller, a couple of trowels, a sponge, an industrial bucket, which I recommend because if you're using a regular one, it might break while you're mixing, and a handheld mixer. All the materials are found at glowmarble.com and the links are in the description. First thing we need to do is make a scratch coat so that our concrete doesn't peel off the wall when we put it on. We'll have to mix up enough concrete to make a 0.2 inch coat. The formula to find your total weight of material is length times width times height times 0.05777 for imperial measurements or 0.0262 for metric measurements. Now because I'm applying it to a cement board, I have to have it damp before I start applying it or else it's not going to stick. Trowel on your thin coat with a heavy hand and don't be afraid to go too heavy on it. Next step is to make the ridges in your actual scratch coat and the best I can find is a hairbrush but it works just fine. Now make sure that your ridges are always horizontal, never vertical. That way your concrete won't slide off. In some places like this, a lot of the concrete sticks out and all you could do is Trowel it down and go over it again to create a more level surface. So my scratch coat is cured and now it's time to mix the actual face coat. So instead of just using one stamp, I'm going to use 10201 on this side and on the other side of the board I'm going to use 10601. And again, we have to dampen our concrete with water or else it's not going to stick. The first coat you put on is going to be a thin one and you want to get it really deep into the cracks in your scratch coat. And now our second coat that we put on is going to be the face coat. That's what you want to be really nice and fluffy, so don't press too hard. Now before we stamp anything on here, we need to cover both our wall and our molds with the stamp release we talked about. The proper way to hold your stamp is to twist one arm like this, keep it as steady as you can, and stamp with the other hand. Now if we get any errors like this, we can easily fix it up with a touch-up tool. Take it.
Now let's say you had a few hard to reach areas like a corner maybe, you'd use a flexible mold and that way you'd be able to reach into the places you couldn't normally with a rigid one. We also have these small texture pads for places like this. Our concrete completely dried and now it has these little fibers sticking out of it. If that bothers you, you can get rid of it with a blowtorch. Now it's time to use the SCR, or concrete degreaser. And basically what it does is it cleans off the concrete, and at the same time, it opens up the pores inside the concrete so that the stain really gets inside and pops. I'm using a one part SCR, eight parts water, for this mix, which is pretty diluted, you don't really need too much. And now before the SCR dries, we have to wash it off with water. Now that the water dried, we're going to put on our water-based stain. First, we're only going to put the primary color, so we're going to color the entire board with it. Now it's time to use our secondary colors. So we cut up a sponge, a clean sponge, into small strips, dip it in. You don't want it too soaked because you don't want it to drip. And color whatever you need to. Once our stain completely dries, it's time to apply the sealer. For hard to reach areas, you're gonna to wanna to use a brush also. Once your sealer is completely dry to the touch, you can apply your second layer. And you can also use a pump sprayer to put your sealer on, which usually works out a lot faster, so it's more, uh, more convenient for large areas. <laughs> 